time uh, to sit with us today to discuss uh, how organizations get things done. Uh, we, we hear a collision and we know collision is a place where many people come to discuss technology and how technology is taking us in the future. Can you walk us into how you see uh, the future of organizations and individuals through the lens of technology? I think that it's what's happening is that for many years technology started in corporations and went to the consumer. We saw that that trend occur, and and you know the consumerization of the technology has been there. The difference that we're seeing now is more and more is about collaboration from people, and people are not no longer in a physical space. People are really in virtual spaces spread out around the world, and the advent of AI and ML is now providing that predictive element that lets us cut through a lot of the. Uh, the, 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 the reactive nature of communication and get more proactive. So I now know ahead of time what our conversation was, what the interest points are that you may have in the future, and by putting that together, that's actually shrinking the world even though the world and the workers in a corporation are now uh, in a much larger physical setting. Organizations do have these strategies that they devise. They have things that they want to achieve. And then we see that many organizations are facing challenges to transform the ideas that they have into reality. In the context of Coffee uh, uh, and what is it that you're doing differently? Or what are the insights that you may want to share that allows you to get things happen? I think it's all about alignment at the end of the day. And you know, we, we start with the consumer first, and the consumer experience drives what we're going to do, whether it's the products that we make. And, and, and we're looking at high quality, uh, mass-produced products for the marketplace, but it's really that, that consumer lens which drives it. Once we understand the consumer needs and the consumer wants, now it's about engineering and creating and putting the machine together in order to provide that solution. We line up based on our brands, we line up based on our industries, we have shared services organizations which all work hand in hand, and we are able to move forward very rapidly and create high quality products for the market that people just love. We pretend to say people are the most important asset within organizations. What's the role of people and diversity within the context of Potem uh, Well, you know, people is the, as you said, people is the basis of everything. And, and we do a great job of working on a global basis to find the best talent that we can. We find people from diverse backgrounds, both geographically, ethnically, across all realms of, uh, of possibilities, and we bring them together and create cohesive units with shared values and shared purpose. And that's what allows us as an organization to move at the speed of business, to move at the speed of the consumer in a very, very well thought out, concise manner. If there is one or two technologies that you watch and carefully closely to see how it will help you shape organization, which one would it be? Well, I'm, I'm very excited about 5G and the ability for new networking technology to reduce latency and to drive speed and new types of interactions closer and closer to the customer, the consumer, to the employee. And hand in hand with that really is edge computing. And I'm not saying that cloud computing is going away and clouds will always be there, but we're going to see more and more processing move to the edge connected to 5G along with AI and ML and create all kinds of new opportunities to provide new employee experiences, new customer experiences, and new consumer experiences. Hello. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.